Hi guys, Ruh here with Naritude for Blender. Let's talk about sharp edges, creases, b weights, and all this malarkey, okay? So what is what is mark sharp? What is crease? What is b weight? Well, there are two ways of approaching the subject, okay? One one is that telling you, you know, how to use it and more or less why, and the other one will be getting into technicalities, but, you know, I don't think there's a point of getting into the, all this geeky anal bullshit, because it doesn't really help anyone. What you need to know is when to use it, and it's really simple. So technically, okay, what, for example, Mark Sharp does, it tells Blender that edges affected by auto smooth are not to be taken into consideration after being Mark Sharp. So let me show you in practice what it means, okay? It theoretically splits actually verts into into two, but not physically. So there's still one vert, but theoretically it's uh, the edge is split. So anyway, l let's let's look at it from a you know practical perspective. Okay, so let's um, um, let's actually apply bevel to it with uh, you know with with hard ups, yeah. And what applying bevel with hard ups does, it's actually applying um, auto smooth and shade smooth at the same time, okay? So you don't have to do it. In vanilla, you do have to do it for every single object manually, right? Or you could copy attributes, but anyway, there's not a click. In, in, in hard ups, you just click on a bevel or sharpen and it does it automatically. This whole object is auto smooth, which means it affects how Blender calculates normals, okay? What sharpen does, right? It sort of tells Blender to remove these edges from this kind of calculation and tells them that these edges are actually not auto smooth as it is as if you're splitting the mesh uh, virtually because physically it's one mesh but virtually it's like separate mesh if you know what i mean so if i um have all you know sharp and selected so only apply sharp in vanilla blender there's gonna be there's gonna be mark sharp right it's the same thing simply in hard ups you can choose all four attributes to be applied with one click to every single edge that is sharper than 30 degrees. In Blender, you need to do this shit manually. So when I apply all the modifiers, right, smart apply, so I apply all the booleans, I would need to select all these edges manually in, in Blender, yeah, in vanilla. In hard ops, what you do is you simply click on sharpen and then you're done. But I want you to look at these edges and, and these faces and look what's going to happen to the shading when I actually sharpen it boom it sort of flexes all the faces see what i mean so it separates these things when i go back in time and i select these edges right and i'm gonna v press v to to rip them off the same thing happens you see what i mean it literally the same thing happens but now the mesh is actually physically split right which is not something you want because you want this uh edge to be you know uh, to, to be connected because otherwise bevel will not work right so that's what sharpen does it literally splits virtually the edge and tells blender to remove it from the calculation of auto smooth okay now crease is something else crease might seem so let's remove the sharpen now crease might seem like something that would do the same thing but it doesn't okay so when i do the same thing with crease nothing changes although the edge is actually technically creased all right See the different color? That's crease. Now crease is used to control sub D. So for example, when I'm gonna grab a plane, right? And I'm going to extrude it, okay? And I'm going to, you know, move this one up and, you know, do some crazy stuff like this and maybe extrude it in here and move it down, it doesn't really matter. And then when I'm going to, you know, apply um, sub D, so control three, right? You see what happens, right? So now, if I if I actually crease the edges, see what happens? They get flexed because um, um, all these edges, they literally get sort of sharpened, but not really. It, it, it is all designed to control to control the sub D. You think about it as as a piece of fabric being stretched on a frame. That's what crease does, you know. Like so, this kind of thing is very different than sharpen. As you can see, it has nothing to do with um, with actually auto smooth, right? It literally simply controls uh, the sub D, and that's all crease does. And you can still use, you know, bevels on it. So let me grab a cylinder and let's auto smooth it, okay? So control three, 
see what happens let's let's get get out of this uh mod cup so you can see better but this one is bloody awful um so when i actually crease this right see what happens these edges got creased and it got smooth i mean it got flexed right now if i introduce bevel to it i can still do it it's no problem you can run sharpen on this one as well no problem because it has nothing to do with auto smooth right so that would be crease and that would be sharpen and now let's talk about sharpen and b weight and b weight so bevel weight is bevel weight is fantastic for a situation like this for example when you have a cube right and let's introduce a loop in here okay and let's move this loop lower okay just a little bit so the angle here is lower than 30 degrees which means the uh, normal bevel will not catch it because the bevel angle right if you go to modifier is 30 degrees which means if this is lower than 30 the bevel will not catch watch what happens when i actually lower it down boom it snapped you see that because now the bevel is actually catching this angle so how to add bevel to this thing well there are two ways of doing it you could actually re reduce the angle but the problem is that if you go too low these um you know the beveled edges might start getting actually faceted so the way to go about it is actually go with bevel weight so when i you know select bevel weight here check all the edges and actually sharpen them right and all i have applied to these edges is bevel weight nothing else right and i switch my bevel from angle to weight boom and this one is being uh, taken into consideration now let me show you what sharpen does and this is actually a fantastic example to show you what i mean by sharpen actually changing how blender calculates auto smooth you see how smooth this uh, transition is between this face and this face let me actually add uh, weighted normals to flex the faces now weighted normals uh, what it does is um changes how blender calculates normals okay it literally removes the um the large faces from the calculation of um of the curvature so at the moment without weighted normals blender is trying to curve all these faces to accommodate for this uh, bend on a bevel now when i add weighted normals boom everything gets flexed you see that watch like stretched so these faces get removed from the calculation and the normal is going to be pointing straight up so now watch if i introduce sharp mark sharp to this edge right it will mess up the way the bevel look the mark sharp will actually interact with the auto smooth and it will split this mesh into two in theory so virtually it will actually tell blender to split how auto smooth is calculated for um, across this bevel so when i add auto smooth here right I mean, when I add sharp here, right, so I recalculate this edge, okay, so I simply press um, Control shift and recalculate it, and then I have to add it in here manually. You see, you see this edge? I don't know if you can see that, but let me actually duplicate this, and I'm going to remove it from this one, okay? And you'll see the difference. So I'm going to apply only B weight to this one, okay? so let's recalculate it and apply b weight here so this one has b weight only and this one has sharpen and b weight look at the difference you see this line here see this line it's like a really sharp edge very clearly visible and it doesn't exist in here because the trans transition is smooth so literally it feels as if blender was telling um as, you know, this mark shop was telling Blender to calculate these two objects, these two faces separately. In in short, when you don't have to use sharp, uh, don't, especially on large bevels like this, when you don't really need sharp, right? Because th the shading on both is identical in this situation. In here, it's a little bit different because there is too much curvature, and you need sharp to you know to 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 tackle it so that's a different situation but in situations like this especially when the bevel is you know it's larger right like this you will you will see that line and it looks ugly especially on reflective surfaces uh, without it it just looks you know smooth right the transition is much smoother you see that that's the difference between sharp b weight crease and you know how to use them right so that would be how 
you use bevel weight, sharp, crease, and seams. Well, seams are basically telling Blender when to make uh, cuts for the UVs. So when you when you mark it with hard ups together with you know with other uh, like B weight or, or apply sharp or crease, whenever you apply these, everything is gonna get applied together. So if if I reapplied it in here by pressing Control Shift and click, which will reapply, recalculate the sharpen seam, which is marked red, you see it's gonna get reapplied to these edges. So I got seam, B weight, and sharpen running all these edges. So when I switch my bevel from um, angle to weight, nothing will change because I have B weight running on this edge, right? However, if I, uh, you know, if I removed uh, B weight from these edges, right? So I went here and removed the B weight, this will no longer work because now I have no B weight, no bevel weight running on these edges. Now I would need to switch back to angle, right? Where is it? Here. So that's all guys, hope it helps you out and clear some misunderstandings about mark shop, B weight, crease, and seam and now you know how to use it and how to control um, angles smoothness and all that malarkey on your mesh now of course if you want to buy hard ups and box cutter as a bundle there is an affiliate link uh, in the video description so you can go ahead and buy it i also leave links to machine add-ons like deco machine mesh machine which are the, at the core of my workflow my da daily workflow and you can find tons of videos showing you how to use these items on my channel. If you enjoyed the vid, drop me a like and sub. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.